It's almost exactly a year since OPEC and its de facto leader, Saudi Arabia, upended the global oil market with a decision to defend market share rather than support prices. Now, as OPEC ministers prepare to meet in Vienna, questions are being asked about the effectiveness of this strategy that puts long-term demand ahead of short-term financial gain. Since the last OPEC meeting, crude has plunged by more than 40%, putting the budgets of many member countries under strain. Even the wealthy oil producers in the Gulf now face big budget deficits. Moreover, the market remains oversupplied. Global oil inventories are currently rising by more than a million barrels a day, as Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Russia all pump flat out trying to retain market share. And then there's the question of Iran, which says it will be able to boost production by at least half a million barrels a day if sanctions are lifted early next year. Now, some of OPEC's more financially challenged members are calling for production cuts to help support prices, which are currently languishing below $45 a barrel. Venezuela, for example, is pushing for a 5% output cut at this week's meeting, saying that the time has come to put the oil market in order. Well, Saudi Arabia's veteran oil minister, Ali al Naimi has pledged to listen to all parties before a decision is reached on Friday. But the OPEC kingpin and its Gulf allies have shown no signs of changing course at the moment. Saudi Arabia has made it clear that it won't cut production unless non-OPEC producers such as Russia do the same. And that's very unlikely to happen. Moreover, its officials say that the strategy is working, even if progress has been slower than they'd first anticipated. U.S. shell production looks to have plateaued, they say, and non-OPEC oil output is forecast to decline in 2016. Demand is also strong. However, most oil analysts do not see the market rebalancing before the end of next year unless there's an unforeseen supply disruption. For that reason, there could be some softening of the tone from Saudi Arabia this week. And that could be enough to provide some support for oil prices given market positioning. Hedge funds and other speculators have placed massive bearish bets against the oil price. But a formal policy change is unlikely to emerge from this week's meeting.